Welcome to August Lico Challenge. Today's problem is add strings. Given two non-negative integers, num1 and num2 represented as string, return the sum of num1 and num2 as a string. You must solve the problem without using any built-in library for handling large integers. You must also not convert the inputs to integers directly. So unfortunately, we can't just use the integer function. If we could do that, all we have to do is say convert integer, convert integer num1, num1, num2, and literally return this as a string, right? And this would be accepted, but it's not valid. This wouldn't work. Uh, so what else can we do other than using this integer function? Well, really, there's not very many options, is there? Um, one thing that we could use, though, is the, or the ordinal function. Now, what this does is uh, gives us the integer representation of a Unix character. So number one would be represented as 49, I believe and number two represented as 50 so 50 so on and so forth so maybe we can do that maybe we can use this ordinal function instead and just do a basic arithmetic adding the first or I should say last digit first and then see if there's anything carry over if there is we'll pass in one and then we'll continue that forward so let's go with that uh, let's say we'll first initialize n and m to be the length of num1 and the length of num2 Next, we need uh, A and B representations, and these will just be starting with 0, 0. And we also need a carry over, which is going to call carry here. So let's see, while, OK, this isn't 0. I'm sorry, A and B is going to be represented as n minus 1 and m minus 1. And this will tell us uh, where we are inside of our position. Since the length of these might not be the same, we'll have to have some if statements here. So let's see, while a is greater or equal to zero, and, or b is greater or equal to zero, let's do a loop. And we're going to first calculate our i and j, which is going to be the integer for the first number and the integer for the second number. So if a is greater or equal to zero, uh, let's actually first initialize i and j here as zeros. And we'll say if it's greater or equal to zero, let's take our ordinal of num1 and this is a string right so we're going to get a and we'll subtract 48 here and this is going to give us the integer function of this character or sorry the integer, integer representation of this number so basically 1 will equal 1 2 equal 2 so on and so forth and make sure to decrease our a here now b if it's greater or equal to 0 uh, we'll do the same thing here num2 b minus 48 and then b minus equal 1 uh, so now let's create our temp variable. We'll say temp equals uh, i plus j, but we also need to add our carryover, right? And right now, at the very beginning, we know carry is going to be zero. Uh, but if the let's see, if the string representation, oh, I, should, I don't need to do that. I'll just say if temp is greater than nine, then carry is going to equal one, and otherwise carry is still equal to zero. Now what we do, let's have our output. This is going to be an empty string at first. And we're just going to add, or we'll recreate our output. Say, uh, let's see. Uh, we'll take our temp. We'll take the string representation of our temp. Uh, this might be two, length of two. So we want to take the, the last character here, uh, either zero or one. And we're going to add that to our output, this. And then just continue that forward. Finally, we turn our output. But make sure that at this point, we might still have a carry. So I'll say, uh, let's see. Well, actually, do we need to do that? If carry, then we will say output equals 1 plus output like this. Okay, and this should work. Let's see if this works. Oh, okay. Um, temp goes i plus j. Oh, I have to, of course, I've set my i and j here. Oops. <sighs> okay, so this looks like it's working. Let's go and submit that. And there we go, accepted. So time complexity wise,
I mean, what's it going to be? Uh, I suppose it's going to be uh, n plus m or whatever is greater, O of n plus m. Um, although this part here, because we keep doing that each time, actually might end up becoming a m squared. But, you know, luckily, I don't think the length of this, well, mm, yeah, you know what? I'm not, I'm not totally sure. Uh, there probably is ways to make this a little bit faster than just concatenating strings like this, but it does get accepted, so we'll just call it a day. And because I, I think this is a very stupid question, frankly, but it works, so let's go with this. All right, thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.